In Chicago, Mike Ryder was a staff officer of the New York branch. One day, he had a five-day business trip to Chicago. Linda Gray from the Chicago branch took responsibility to pick him up at the airport. This was the first time they meet, though they'd worked together for a long time. Hello, Mike. Where are you now? I'm near Gate C, under the Bakley sign. Okay, I'm coming to you now. Excuse me, is it you, Mike? Hello, are you Linda? Yes, it's me. Nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you too. Let's go. I booked a hotel in the city center for you with a city view. I hope that you will love it. I'm an easygoing person. No worries. How far is it, Linda? It's thirty minutes away from now. If the traffic is okay, can I help you with your bags? No, I'm fine. Let's go. Would you like to have some coffee tonight? Yes, I'd love to. Eight p.m. is okay for you? It's okay. See you tonight. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Warwick Allerton. How may I help you? I have a reservation for today. It's under the name of Mike Ryder. Yes, Mr. Ryder. We've reserved a standard room for you with a city view. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Your room is five six eight. Here is your key. To get to your room, take the elevator on the right up to the fifth floor. Turn right once. You exit the elevator, and your room will be on the left hand side. A bellboy will bring your bags up shortly. Great, thanks. My pleasure, sir. Have a wonderful stay at the Warwick Allerton, Chicago. This city is so beautiful. It's the first time I have come here. You have five days to explore it. Ha! <laughs> It's not enough. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I answer the phone now? No, no. Help yourself. Hello, sweetie. How's it going? Yes, I'm okay. I have an appointment now. I'll call you back later, okay? Love you. Is it your wife? Your voice is sweet as honey. Nah, it's my baby girl. She's six years old. She's living with her mom. We're divorced. Oh, I'm so sorry for asking. You look too young to have a six-year-old kid. It's all right. I'm happy that you care about me. How old am I in your opinion? Hmm. Let's see. Twenty-five. I guess so. No, I'm twenty-seven already. Oh, it's late now. We have a meeting at nine a.m. tomorrow. Don't forget. Come on, I'm professional. It's dangerous outside, so let me take you home. All right, thank you. Let's go. The meeting went smoothly, huh? Would you like to have a cup of coffee? 
Yes, please. Oops. My apologies. It's okay. No worries. I will buy a new one for you. Is there any clothing store nearby? I'm not sure. I rarely go shopping in this area. This morning I saw a mall on the way here. I will take you there to buy a new one. Never mind. I'm afraid we don't have time. The meeting this afternoon is at 2 p.m. We have one and a half hours left. It just takes 25 minutes to go there and come back. Let's go. Thank you so much for buying it for me. Don't say that. It's my fault. I feel so sorry for bothering you. By the way, would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Today is my birthday. Oh, happy birthday to you, but I'm so sorry. I have plans tonight. Oh, thank you. So, what about Friday night? Hmm, okay. Do you have any suggestions? I just came here. I'm not sure where is the best. Sure, I'll text you after working time. The meeting is going to start. We should prepare for it carefully. Okay. It's difficult to choose a gift for him. I don't know much about him yet. Oh well, I'll buy him a pen. And a card. Wow, you look so gorgeous today. Thank you. A happy birthday. Sorry I cannot come on that day. Thank you so much. I booked one table in the restaurant you recommended. Let's go. Mike, this is a present for you. I hope you will like it. Oh, thank you so much. As long as it's your gift, I'll like whatever. How time flies! I have to leave tomorrow. Next month, we are going to have a workshop in our branch. Would you like to attend? I would love to, but I need to ask my manager first. Can I take you to the airport tomorrow? Oh, sure. That makes me so happy to hear. How was your stay, sir? It was great. Would you like me to book a taxi for you? No, my friend will pick me up, thank you. My pleasure. Hello, how's it going? Hi, Mike. I'm really sorry. I'm stuck with the documents in our office. I'm afraid I cannot pick you up. My apologies. Oh dear, it's fine. I know it's hard to leave the office at this time. But I really want to meet you before I leave. Thank you for everything, Linda. Can we meet at the airport? I think I can come to meet you there. We should say goodbye to each other, shouldn't we? Definitely. I will wait for you there, in front of the information counter. See you then. Hi, could you help me book an airport drop service, please? My plan has changed. Yes, sir. It will be here soon. Okay, I'm here in the lobby. Let me know when it has arrived. Sure, sir. Hi, Linda. Hi. I think I cannot wait for you, so I gave you a call to say farewell. I... I'm here. I've arrived. Look back. 
Oh, hi, Linda. I'm glad you came. Me too. Thank God I'm on time. I have good news. I'm going to come to New York to attend your workshop. My manager agreed. Bravo! The best news ever. Ah, thank God. Last call for passengers Chicago traveling to New York. Please proceed immediately to gate number 32. I have to get in now. Hope to see you in New York. Yes. Text me when you arrive there. Keep in touch. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.